morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you are watching this. Today's episode, I'm going to show you how I made some brace bars. So, let me explain to you why I'm showing you <laughs> how I made these, because they're already made, obviously. So I changed, um, basically, my phone screen uh, smashed, um, and the insurance decided to replace it rather than repair it. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I made these on a scrap piece of metal and then you can you can see because this is all believe it or not this is all one bar uh, box section so I'll, what I'll do is I'll grab the, shit, uh, the scrap piece of steel and I'll show you how I made them right so as I said um, I lost all the footage so what I'll do is I'll show you how I did it again this isn't going to be exact science it's not going to be absolutely amazing but you can take away from this what you want so say if your line is there, do line there, and we're going to do 10 mil either side of that line. So 10 mil and 10 mil, and then draw that up to that point there, and again, down to that point there, and roll it over to the other side, so then what you want to do here is you want to do two straights, try and roll it over again. So this time, you, your centre point needs to be here. So what we'll do is we'll find, make a right mess of this. 40, 60, 60. That's our centre line there. So our centre line there, and what we want to do is draw it down to there. You can see this, I'll show you in a second. And so there, so these are the bits that you're cutting out. Show you that a bit more. So that's what you want you want an angle there, straight there, an angle there. So, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll cut this and then I'll, uh, I'll show you what it looks like once it's been cut. Right, so after grinding, this is what you should be left with. You'll be left with this little triangle piece that comes out. And then what you want to do is just stuff some in the end there and bend it up. And what that will do, that will give you an angle. And then you can just weld there. I mean, it's not the prettiest cut there. Like I say, this is just a scrap piece anyway. Uh, weld across there. And you've not actually had to cut and join and weld it all the way around you're only welding and it's only three sides it only make one more but i really like it i wanted to make it all make them all out of one piece and that's what that's what happened so obviously the narrow that was 10 mil either side the narrower you make that triangle the less of an angle this is going to put on it really um like i said there's there's a couple of videos on on youtube about how to do it but i just wanted to put my two pennies worth in so let's say you can put that and straighten it back out if I had the screwdriver and you could straighten that back out but I think that will give you then the down and across and however you want to do it really but that's 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 how I did the brace bars anyway so that's that scrap piece and as you can see that scrap piece mimics uh, sort of like the top end of that roughly obviously there's like there's less of an aggressive drop on that and then it's got a slight kink there and then one at the bottom so again it more or less mimics that at the bottom there and then I've, then, I've added these end plates on as well which I just want to cut them down here but I'll show you that when it's on the car so this is all one piece of box section steel not tubular steel box section steel like that Dave uh, and then what I've done is I've drilled through there and I've welded a nut on the inside of there it's not the prettiest don't matter it's uh, secure and then I've done the same there. I've welded a nut on there. And again, I'll show you them on the car so then you can uh, you can see how they work. 
So this is it bolted up. So it goes through there into there, comes down. It kinks back in there because uh, the wheel, we had the wheel on full lock, it's nowhere near it. And then as you can see, there is space underneath the alternate and the bracket and swings around to the front. So that's that side. Let me show you the other side. And then there's this side. So again, bolts through the top there, like the other one. Uh, you can see, come around there. That looks like it's touching, but it's actually not. I might get some smaller ones just to make sure. It comes down, and this this is roughly where the radiator is going to sit. Uh, so I wanted this for two reasons. One, I'm going to use it to mount the radiator off, but two, I wanted it to avoid the radiator, and plus I want to be able to fit a fan. So hopefully that might sit a bit further in, but we can, we'll probably work that out next episode. And then comes down, comes down, and again bolts to the front of the subframe there. Uh, again, we've had the wheel on full lock, it's not hitting it or anything like that. Because obviously you've got the shock first anyway, but the tyre, it comes to roughly about there I think. Um, but yeah, and then what we're going to do, well I'll explain the radiator bracket in the next video. But yeah, that is two brace bars, made by me. And a lot of help from Pete as well. <laughs> so there you go, like I say, it's uh, it's using one piece of um, not tubular steel. There you go, Dave Jag, it's not tubular steel. Because uh, tube is a circle. And this is square, it's box section. So a box section steel and it's made, both both items are made from one piece. Um, and obviously the, the, the tab's welded at the front. But yeah, I'm, I'm, fairly, I'm fairly happy with them. Uh, they do what I need to do. Like I say, the one where the radiator's uh, next to the radiator, that's going to incorporate some sort of radiator mount. But we'll go through that next episode because I need to work out exactly what I'm doing there. But hopefully, that was a bit interesting for you. It's, uh, it's something new that I've learned. I've, I've you know, never done that sort of thing before, but I'm really enjoying this fabrication work. And, uh, Welding stuff like that makes you feel you can weld because <laughs> once you start going on the cars, especially classic cars, I mean, I was talking to someone about this the other day. You know, the thing is, where especially when you're welding <coughs> rusty classic cars, so you cut out where you need to, um, so then you've already made it thinner, then you grind it, then you flap it off, use a flat disc to, to grind it off, or however you grind the, the paint off to get it back to bare metal. Again, you've taken a bit more of the metal away no matter how light you are with it, and then you weld into it, you could be down to 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 0 0.6, uh, you know, uh, in thickness of metal, and that's why it's so difficult. But hey, weld this stuff every day. I can see why some fabricators do it. So yeah, uh, as you know me, I've got nice new shiny bolts. I've got flanged ones as well, look. Make it a bit easier than rather than messing around with washers every time, and they've got like a little grippy bit on the back of them which is nice um, but yeah go to your local bolt shop uh, I think I've got 10 and i got washers as well just for sake of having them sort of washers in and I think it cost me what, two quid if that so well worth it so yeah go down to your local bolt shop don't use places like screw fix and stuff like that use your local bolt shop because they've got the proper stuff in anyway I'm rambling hope you enjoyed that guys have a great day thanks